What's up, Vital? It's Jacob Hayes. We're at Redbud for the 2023 KTM Ready to Race launch. This place is iconic. They're having the national here. They're having the motocross of the designations here. So what better way to break a motorcycle in and figure out what's good and what's bad. So let's dive into it. On the new KTM 450, gosh, I was, I was blown away. I got on that thing and it was like, what a upgrade in power that they've made, which I rode the 2021 model. And with this new addition, the way they've improved the chassis, the engine, rotating the engine mass backwards two mil, the all new subframe, you could really tell a big difference in the motorcycle. There were some key things that I really loved, but then I'm gonna be honest, there were some key things that I didn't like as much. With the SAG, I ran the SAG at 104, 105. Um, I messed around with the air pressure on the forks a little bit for me. The D cell, so as you let off the, the throttle, it really, the engine braking really kicks in, which I wasn't used to. Maybe that's new with the mapping. So when you come into the corners and you roll off the throttle, the D cell is, it's aggressive. Like that engine braking is really gnarly. So for me, it lightened up the rear, put a lot of pressure on the forks. So I tried to compensate with putting a little bit of extra air in the forks, which helped, but it took a little way of that initial comfort that I was liking. So I kind of had to find a happy medium with, a, with that front end dive. That was really my only thing I didn't like about the motorcycle. Everything else was really good. I rode the Mellow map. It has two maps, the aggressive and the Mellow. It's a big difference between the both of them. Again, I think with KTM and, and how they supply all their products is, listen, this is, this is what we got. This thing is ready to rock and roll. We've tailored it to a little bit of kind of both riding styles. Like if you want to get on a deep sand track and you want that aggressive throttle, you can put, put it in map two. If you want it a little bit more smooth and be able to roll it on a little bit of hard pack, or if you're out on a cruise, you don't want that uh, aggressive, you can throw it in map one. But uh, for me, um, with the all new chassis, all new subframe, with the pegs, they have a lot more platform for myself to get back, get back on my toes, or get forward, really kind of position myself through the corners, plant that outside peg. The forks, I was out there, I bumped up the pressure, came in, had to make that quick change. But now with KTM changing to the hand adjusters instead of the flat head adjusters, I stopped midway through my lap, did a couple clicks, was right back on the track in no time, on the top of the forks for the compression, on the bottom of the forks for the rebound, on the high speed on the shock low speed on the shock, all the way around, hand adjustable. That's a great feature that they have. I mean, something as simple as that, you know, a flathead to uh, a hand adjuster was incredible. So good job to you guys at KTM. But yeah, with them rotating the engine back two mil, it doesn't put as much strain on the swing arm. So the motorcycle is able to work a little bit more freely in the rear end of the bike, which I like to steer with the rear end of the bike. And then um, ergonomically, they made it symmetrical on both sides. Normally you have on the right side, the pipe a little bit wider than the left side. On this all new model, they made both sides exactly the same. Great feature, I'm a little bit taller guy. So as I got a little bit farther back, I could really grip, lean in, control the motorcycle with my legs. Like I said, I, I'm, a, I'm a rear and stender, steer and I like to stand a lot. So uh, that was a great feature. On this all new model, they have both the handheld holes right at the back of the seat. That also allows, it's not just to throw it up on the stand, which is a great feature as well, but it allows a lot of airflow through the airbox, which is direct air, which also creates more power. Best of both worlds. With the all new platform and the ergonomics of the motorcycle, they designed it to be less rigid and be able to handle a lot higher of a stress load under braking, chop, bumps coming in the corner. You could definitely feel that. Felt like a completely new motorcycle in a good way. With a few minor adjustments, I bumped a little bit of air into the forks and changed two clicks. You could definitely feel it on the track. The way you track coming into the corners, that bike just floats right over the bumps. You can kind of carve it anywhere you want to go. I, I couldn't believe how well I could cut out of the corners or if I want to drift wide and kind of ride that cushion. It was incredibly good with rear end traction, front end traction. I'm a big KTM guy. I've ridden those a couple years now. And with the old model, it really got low in the rear, which I didn't like. 
you had to run the sag at like 98. Today I was running the sag at 105 and never once felt like it was low in the rear. I felt like um, overall the bike was balanced and uh, KTM's done a great job with designing the all new foot peg. It's a little bit bigger platform for you to stand on. That way you can kind of get that outside foot peg and get leaned into the corners. You can stay on your toes or hey, if you like to ride on the balls of your feet, you can do that. It's a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, I had a couple hard landings today and I think with some narrow pegs, you have a lot of ankle flex. With this all new peg, that's no problem. But uh, KTM, great job to those guys. Uh, they created a product that, like I said, you can get off the showroom floor and go race. They've got an all new product, it's the Quick Shift. I don't know um, about you guys, but I was pretty anxious to start trying that. Uh, I gave it a, a good test, right? I, I didn't want to give it a lap and just say, oh, I didn't like it just because I've been used to the traditional shifting for so long. The one thing that stood out to me though is if you get in a deep rut or something, you really lean that motorcycle in, if anything like a rock or you caught it on a rut or something, it would shift automatically. So say you're in second and you're just kind of almost revved out and it would just, it would tap it. It would shift to third like in no time. And then you're kind of dying down a little bit in the revs. So for me, I went back to the standard shifting just simply because that's what I know. If I had a little bit more time, maybe I could get used to the quick shifting and change my riding style. It's a great addition to the motorcycle. On the all new model as well, they've redone the whole seat. It's a little bit flatter, uh, not as much curvage to it, but on the old models, they had that black seat, which was kind of like a, a slippery material. They've done a new cover as well. It's not like aggressive like a gripper seat but it's not slippery either it's that happy medium just in between i didn't find myself coming out of the corners and really sliding back on the seat it would it would catch me but what i liked most about it was where i hold onto the motorcycle with my knees you could really feel the width of it right there and as you were squeezing in tighter and tighter and tighter the thing didn't blow apart normally i go through seats like crazy but the, with this all new design seat really held up to the test today and uh, was a good new feature. Gosh, here at Redbud, the final impression on the day for the 2023 KTM Ready to Race products. Just a blast. Like what better way than to ride this iconic track? We're gonna have the National here, gonna have motocross of designations here. So to break a motorcycle in on a track like this was incredible. Um, we really put it to the test, the track broke down. But overall, the motorcycles were great. KTM was great to us. If we needed a change, if we, uh, need a little bit of gas. Everyone was super easy to work with. So uh, thanks to everyone at KTM. Thank you for to Vital for bringing me out. It was a great day. Had a lot of fun. You guys should check it out.